Aloha everyone, this is Lenora, Hawaii's pickle lady, and I'm finally back from my trip to Cambodia. And I also went to San Francisco for a couple of days just to see where I first started out working a long time ago. And now I'm going to show you how to pickle ginger. You know when you go to these restaurants, uh, especially Hawaiian type, that have the bento lunches? They always have some pickled ginger on the side. It's very sweet, sour, and super delicious when you eat it with the other foods. So I'm going to show you ginger. Generally, I use the, the young ginger, which is very light, almost translucent color, and it has some red tips on it. That ginger is very, very uh, tender. The only kind of ginger that I could find now, this is an old ginger. It's a little stringy, whereas if you bought the very young ginger, it won't be stringy and easier to cut. Now, in the past, I've used a mandolin. But a mandolin is really a humbug because even when you try to uh, slice it thin, it never gets it as thin as you want and there's a lot of wastage to it. So I found that if you use a vegetable peeler, it works pretty well. Now also, the young ginger in Hawaii is only sold at the end of summer and early fall. So even now here in Vegas and California, it's the young ones are not available. I haven't seen it. So the only ones that I could find in California uh, when we went to San Francisco was this ginger, but I think it'll work just as well. Now I have here a bowl that's already uh, peeled and sliced thin. So to peel the ginger, you can do it several ways. You can peel the ginger like this with a vegetable peeler very easily. Now this is the way you can scrape it with a spoon and this is the way I grew up. Everybody did it like this. My mother taught me to do this. So whichever way you prefer is fine. Okay. So now I have a piece like this. Because like I said this is an old ginger and uh, there's more fibers in it I found that if you go crosswise, you have a hard time shredding it. But if you go lengthwise, where all the strings are attached, it's easier. So I, I can just take the peeler like this, put some pressure on it, and it's super thin. I like this so much better than the mandolin. Another way you can slice the ginger is by taking a knife and again cutting it crosswise. As thin as you can, so whichever way you prefer. But with the knife, it's very hard to get it super thin. But you can try any way you want. And then I just put it in a bowl here. And then I have some boiling water here. And I'm going to put this ginger in a bowl. Now you pour boiling water over the ginger. Stir it up and let it sit in the hot water for five minutes. In the meantime, I'm gonna show you how to preserve ginger if you have quite a lot and you don't want it to go to waste because if you leave ginger outside, it'll get moldy. If you leave it in the fridge, eventually it'll mold. So what I found is to preserve it in several ways. Now, I can also freeze the ginger by slicing it into little pieces putting it in a Ziploc bag and just take out what I need to cook. Now, another way to do it is use a very flat pan like this. You don't have to line it or grease it or anything. Just grind up your ginger in a mini processor and just spread it evenly on the pan. And uh, when you spread it on the pan, it'll be one like a one cake. So I put it in the freezer until it's hard. Then I take it out and wait a few minutes 
and then I cut it into squares. And it's still hard at this time. So I then put it in the bag and I freeze it. Otherwise, it'll be all stuck together. So this is a very good way of preserving ginger again. Okay, it's been five minutes and I'm gonna drain the ginger. And you can see how thin the pieces are because it's nice when you eat thin pieces rather than thick. So I'm gonna put it through a colander. Then I'm gonna rinse it out. Cool it off just a little bit. Okay. And then I'm gonna squeeze out all the liquid. This gets rid of the hotness of the ginger. If you don't do this, the ginger will be very hot. So I'm gonna do the process one more time. Okay, I've, I've drained, uh, boiled and drained the uh, ginger. Uh, second time, now I'm making the sauce. Only comprises of three ingredients, vinegar, sugar, and salt, rock salt. So I'm pouring vinegar, sugar, and a little salt. So I'm gonna bring it to a boil, let it cool, and then I'm gonna pack the uh, shredded ginger into the bottle. Okay, now the syrup has cooled, so all I'm gonna do is pour it right over the ginger. And of course, I, I drained and squeezed out all the liquid. Now the syrup is cooled, so I'm just gonna pour it right over the Okay, there's some airspace down here, so I'm gonna push it down so that the syrup gets all over the ginger. Now pour the rest in. And that's all there is to it. You see, very simple. So when I cover it, I always put plastic because I found that a lot of times it, the cover will rust and I don't want that. So now I cover it up and I refrigerate it and I probably can eat it in one to two days. You, you can just taste it yourself. And you, you refrigerate it, it keeps a long time because of the vinegar, sugar. Oh, guys, if you've watched this video to the end and you haven't subscribed, please do so because it really helps my channel to grow. Mahalo for watching. Thank you. See you on the next video.